Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd talk about my first year at university experience and just like do a little review of my first year studying biomedical engineering at the University of Reading. Um, this review type of thing that I'm going to do today is going to be based on academics rather than the um, social side of university and um, settling in to halls but I'm more than happy to film another video on those two topics um, if you would like me to. Um, if you have any questions in particular let me know down in the comments. As I've already said, I'm doing biomedical engineering at the University of Reading, but what is biomedical engineering? It's basically the application of science and technology into like a medical context. So the most common example of biomedical engineering um, would be prosthetics. Um, and even though prosthetics is a huge part of the field, it's not the only part. Um, it includes stuff like radiotherapy, um, x-rays, MRI scan, neuroscience, ECG monitoring. It's like a really broad field which is also one of the reasons why I chose it. The way I best describe biomedical engineering is it's the behind the scenes of the medical field. So you have the option of doing um, a three, four or five year course. Um, the three year course is basically going to be the easiest for me to explain. You come out of university with a bachelor's um, of bachelor's of engineering. It's three years of biomedical engineering. And then you have the four-year program, which you can either do an integrated master's, so you basically do your bachelor's degree and then an extra year, which counts as your master's, um, or you can do a bachelor's degree and do a year in industry so basically just do a placement um, and get some work experience which I think that's what I'm gonna do um, I am currently on the other program which is the master's program with a year in industry um, which basically means I'm gonna do three years for my bachelor's one year in industry and then a final year which would be my integrated master's um, but I think that I want to do my master's somewhere else, not that there's anything wrong with the University of Reading, I just, I'd rather go to another place and explore new opportunities and stuff. So the first year of um, biomedical engineering at the University of Reading was um, very broad, like they, they gave us um, we had like seven modules and they were all very different. They were all compulsory, we didn't have any optional modules for first year. Um, it's basically like a foundation for second year and third year. Um, so basically we did the biology subjects and then the engineering subjects. The biology subjects consisted of human physiology and building blocks of life. And then the engineering subjects were programming, electronics, mathematics, physics and then we had one other module uh, which was called key skills in biomedical engineering uh, which I'll go into in a bit <laughs> we'll talk about that first term was a lot more loaded than second term so autumn term was just like lecture after lecture after lecture I was like the first module I'm going to go over is key skills um, in biomedical engineering um, so this was basically like an introductory module, um, we did a lot of team building exercises in this module, um, they taught us about plagiarism and a bunch of other things that honestly I can't really remember off the top of my head. We did a lot of team bonding, team exercises, I think they gave us too many hours for that because First of all, we didn't need all those hours, like I didn't need a four hour lecture on plagiarism. And well, yeah, we did a lot of fun stuff in that class, not gonna lie. Clearly, I just felt like the lectures could be cut down into less hours and a bit more condensed. Um, that being said, 
they did let us leave early a lot of the time and we did get like some really good opportunities to work with um, a brand and stuff um, so we had three assignments for this module um, the first one we had to create a portfolio and do some research in biomedical engineering and just talk about different areas of biomedical engineering I guess and get yeah so we had to find a variety of articles um, and summarize them uh, I do feel like we had too many articles to do in not enough time but I mean I guess that's university for you like my first article was using micro bubbles as cancer treatment for bed dogs and I'm, I'm quite proud of this assignment um, considering it was my first assignment I'm really ha I was really happy with it and I am still happy with it for the second um, assignment that we were marked on, we had two days um, to, right, we worked with a company based in Reading um, and they basically own Ted Baker, well, own, I don't think they own, like they manage Ted Baker, um, they manage Cat and a bunch of other uh, companies that we had to work with them and we created um, a phone, um, we designed like a mobile phone um, based on one of their existing models um, and optimise it for a certain niche and we only had two days to design it and make a presentation on it and present it to the company's board I pitched a product and I think that's really cool um, yeah well, not I, we pitched a product. So we had to do maths, which is pretty self-explanatory. We did um, various different areas of mathematics um, that are used by engineers. Um, we were also taught how to use MATLAB. We had a lot of tutorials, like there was a tutorial for each lecture um, where we basically practiced what we learned. And which I thought was really good. Programming, we did, we learned to program in C and C++. Um, we also did a brief introduction into Python, which we'll continue doing Python in second year, I believe. Um, we did a lot of practicals again. Um, the practicals for programming were like quite difficult. Um, and I was lucky enough to have a background in programming from school so even though I didn't know how to program in C and C++ I did kind of know how to think and how to go about programming um, which I do think really helped me. We also had a big project at the end we had to either design a game um, or a GP software package um, and obviously code it as well and then write a report on it. That was some really hard work but it was probably one of my favourite projects um, throughout the year. Um, something to work on. Um, I liked developing the code and just like, I don't know, I just like coding, okay? I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a nerd and I like it. <laughs> um, electronics was interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Um, uh, like Electronics was probably the ones that, like, I personally found, yeah, electronics was probably the one that I found the hardest, um, as well as a lot of my course mates did as well. We did logic, which was, I, I just loved logic, not gonna lie. Um, and we, for logic, we had to design, we did a few practicals um, where we designed um, a traffic light system just to get used to uh, simulation programs. Um, and then we had to write a report on it. So basically this module was assessed on three, no, the, well yeah, the three practicals and the reports as well as an exam. Um, and we also had physics. Um, physics was just an, a spring term module. Um, we did mechanics and then we did concepts. Um, so the concept side of it was quite theoretical, obviously, because it's concepts. Uh, we spoke about applications, so we learned how laser systems work, as well as mechanics. And finally, the two biology modules were building blocks of life and human physiology. For human physiology, we did um, 
some practicals. Well, we did a lot of practicals that in total were worth 20%. I personally feel like we should have been given um, a higher percentage for the practicals because there was like, there was a lot of practicals. It was like, and it was like we had to do an online test for it afterwards, which would take two to three hours to complete. Um, if you wanted to do it seriously, sometimes even more. And then there was the exam that was worth 80% and it was multiple choice, which do not, do not fall in the trap of thinking that multiple choice, oh that is easy because no, that, like human physiology was probably the exam I found the hardest. And then for building blocks, um, right, a lot of people preferred human physiology over building blocks. Um, I don't know how I feel because I find human physiology like interesting but I just felt like it was very overwhelming um, and building blocks was more of like the genetic side the microscopic view of biology it was also a bit of like a mismatch of like everything that they wanted us to learn the difference with the practicals was that we only had two practicals and they were worth 10% each overall I am very excited to go into second year um, I I really enjoyed first year, I made some of the best friends um, during first year and it was honestly such an amazing experience and I am so happy that I didn't listen to my teachers, this is I'm really mean, um, but I am so happy that in high school I followed what I wanted to do and I didn't do my big, big national exams that everyone else did and a lot of my teachers advised me to do it. But if you are waiting for your results at the moment um, to find out to like if you're going to uni, what uni you're going to, etc, etc. Um, wishing you all the luck. Um, I hope you get what you want. And if you're going to apply this year for the university or like next year or the following years, then also good luck to you too. You've got this. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. We live.